Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel, Jazzland Second Life, where I'm all about decor and landscaping in Second Life. And I wanted to do a quick intro to these older videos because I want to show you how I use my CTS wardrobe for my decor and my landscaping items so that I can catalog them and see them all very, very quickly and very find them easily in my inventory. But I didn't want to have to go through setting one up again because you can only have one CTS wardrobe per avatar. So I needed to use my older stuff from when I first got my wardrobe in 2020 in order to show how I bought it, set it up, and all that good kind of stuff and used it for my other items. So if you already have one and you know how to use it, feel free to skip other older ones <laughs> to get straight into the new things that I'm going to show you with landscape and decor. But if you've never used CTS wardrobe, this is a good introduction to it, at least to show you kind of how I use mine and how to get it set up. All right, enjoy and make sure you like and subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see y'all in a bit. Welcome back to my adventure with CTS wardrobe. And this is gonna be video eight. In the past two videos, we added some items to wardrobe that already had an image or a texture or picture with them. So in this video, I'm going to show you what to do if you don't have a texture that came with it um, or a photo. And what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to take pictures using the pose stand and take our own photo to upload to wardrobe. So we are going to upload this outfit which is from Bumblebee. We're going to do the shirt and the pants because it came in a mega pack together. And that is the plan. I did remember to attach my head this time before we got started, so pretty proud of myself on that. But let's go ahead and open inventory. And I already have, it's a Bumblebee Gretel outfit. I already have that pulled up. So let's see. First thing we're going to do is we're going to need to get a picture of this outfit and save it. So let me minimize that again. And I'm going to res out the pose stand. If we use this little purple woman right here, we should get a pose stand. So I'm going to click on that. And there is my pose stand and I want to load the female poses into it. And let's see. Now, here's the thing. When I get onto this pose stand, it's gonna put that big, huge white background up and it's probably going to get, this stuff is gonna be in the way. So I'm gonna right click and edit because I wanna move my pose stand out a little bit because I know that stuff is going to be in the way. So let's move it over here, maybe up a little bit, and then close my build tool. And then I'm going to turn off my AO, because otherwise it's going to look funky. And then right click on the post stand and hit pose. And there it is. So now it's going to ask if I want to have the lighting adjusted. I don't because I already have a bright wind light on. If you need to, if you're kind of dark and shady, you'll want to hit yes, but I'm going to hit no because I already have good lighting. The other thing is, see how my foot is stuck in the ground down here? So I'm going to go to appearance and hover height and I'm going to raise myself up a little bit because I don't want to be stuck. There we go. And this isn't really an ideal pose for this. Um, so let's scroll through a couple. Because I'd like to get the front of the outfit really well. That looks like... Eh. Eh. Ugh, my hand's stuck in my leg. I don't like that. There's that stupid shoe pose. What is that about? Mm, I don't know about this one, you guys. Mm, I don't really need the shoes. Let's face forward, shall we? It's going to take me 10 minutes to find a pose, y'all. <laughs> I 
hate that pose. I don't know what that is. Hey, that one's pretty good. We'll go with this. So, I just want to get outfit in here. So then we're going to go to our photo tools, which is here. I've got them over here on Firestorm. And let me move this over. And if I hit this arrow, it's going to give me a bigger picture. See how there's so much white up there? So I'm going to adjust this. Move the camera, or move my camera down. And I'm going to hit refresh. That one's a little bit better. Maybe we'll zoom in a little bit. I'm going to hit control zero one time. And that'll zoom in, hit refresh. Yeah, that's pretty good. I can tell what it is. Now, you want to make sure, see, I don't want to save this to my inventory. I want to save it to disk. So I'm going to go to selection and save it to disk. I'm going to save it to my hard drive. So always make sure you're saving it to the disk instead of saving it to your inventory. Because every time you save an image to your inventory, it charges um, 10 Linden to do that. On this, you want to make sure that this box, Constrained Proportions, make sure it's unchecked. And then you want to do a square image, which I'm going to do 512 by 512 because that's pretty standard. And we don't need this to be high resolution. Um, hit enter. And then it crops it down. But Wardrobe is going to use a square image anyway. So we're going to do 512 by 512. PNG, and then I want to save as. We'll do save as because I want to make sure I can name it. Okay, I don't know why it says that. <laughs> All right, ready? What is this? This is Gretel. Um. Uh, is oh bumblebee bumblebee gretel top and pants we'll just save it that way okay save and it has been saved to my computer all right so now we have the image so i am going to Close that back in. I'm going to close that off and zoom back out. And actually, I'll go ahead and hit stand because we just needed the one picture. So then I stand, turn my AO back on because I look funky with that little chicken stand. Turn around, Jazz. Turn around, Jazz. Oops. Just kidding. Y'all see my platform with all my junk? It's not junk. It's where I test everything out. <laughs> Decide what I'm going to do with it. <laughs> Good, right? <laughs> and it's got my puppies on it. Alright. Then I'm going to take... Oh, too far. I'm going to take this stand. And I'm going to delete the stand. I don't need it anymore. Not for this video. Alright. So now... Let's move on and get our inventory part set up because I have a picture. All right. So what are we going to do? Oops. I'm just turning all kinds of ways. Uh, all right. So this is the outfit and I need to make a folder for it in my RLV so that wardrobe can talk to my RLV folder and it's going to go in clothing and I have pink cream pie and tetra so this is the creator's bumblebee so I need to right click on clothing make a new folder and this is going to be bumblebee bumblebee is my favorite transformer y'all he's the bomb.com I love him because he speaks in music and if you've never seen Transformers you don't know what I'm talking about but if you have you're my people just saying okay 
So there is my Bumblebee folder and I am going to take this outfit folder, the Gretel outfit folder, and we're going to drag it into the Bumblebee folder. Then I'm going to open that up and close this one, don't need any more. Alright, so now we need to rename this. Where's my rename? Rename. We're going to call it the Gretel outfit because that's what it is. And we know it's Bumblebee because it's in the Bumblebee folder. I don't need the landmark, so I'm going to delete that. And then I've got on the combat shirt and the suede pants. And then here's the HUD for the shirt and the HUD for the pants. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a new folder for HUDs. And I'm going to put both the HUDs in there because I'm going to wear these together. And that way I can put both HUDs on at the same time if I use this folder. And then I need one for a new folder for the shirt. I'm going to drag my shirt in here. And then I need a new folder for the pants. And I'm going to drag that in here. So now my Gretel outfit is all put together. There's the two heads, there's the pants, there's the shirt. So it's in my RLV folder ready to go and I called it Gretel outfit. So let me, I'm going to copy that to make sure that I get the exact name. All right. So now we are ready. Yep. We are ready to go to wardrobe and actually get it uploaded. Da, 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 da. I know you're excited because I sure am. Ready? All right. Here is my wardrobe. So we start by importing the picture. Add items. Oh, they changed that. Remember? Wow. They already made a change because it used to say it gave you all of those options, but now it just says import snapshots or add items. All right. So let me get, okay. So there is my image with the Gretel top. I'm going to drag it here. It's going to put it there. And this title has to match my folder. So I'm going to paste in paste Gretel outfit. Okay. Tags. So we need the creator, which is Bumblebee. And then this has got um, pants and they're suede. And this has um, top and the top is, we're going to say long sleeved, long sleeve top. Yeah, that should work, right? Long sleeve top. Anything else? Oh, the colors. So we've got, well, it's got a HUD that changes all the colors, I believe. Let me look at the HUD real quick. Yeah, I think the HUD changes, the HUD changes all kinds of stuff. Let me see the combat shirt. I don't know where the HUD's going to pop up. They always pop up in different places. Oh yeah, look at all those colors. So yeah, we're not even going to worry about that. Okay, color we don't have to worry about. We're going to leave it at that. We'll leave everything set this way, same way. And then I'm going to click Submit. And it's going to do something. Hello? No image selected. What? Oh my gosh, it erased my image and my... Wait a minute. Did it show up? Oh, it's in there close. All right. It's in there. So I guess that's what happens if you hit submit twice. So you already did that. You don't have a new image. So let me check. I'm going to show the where dialog so I can make sure all my folders are there. And there they are. Main folder, hoods, pants, and shirt. So it's all in there. So I know that's good. And that's it. It's uploaded. I just did that mega pack. That's awesome. So now we have five items, but now I'm going to shut this video down. <laughs>
because <laughs> it took me longer because I explained everything. So that is how you do it if you have to use the post in and take your own image of an outfit. Anyway, so hopefully that was helpful. And I think that gets a pretty good getting started overview of the whole thing. You can use a texture like we did in these, or you can use your own photo like we did for this. All right, so I'm going to start uploading a bunch of stuff, and as I learn new things, I'll add new videos in my adventures with CTS Wardrobe so y'all can learn along with me. Make sure you like the video, make sure you subscribe to the channel, and if you have questions or just want to make a comment, make a comment because I will come in and check them and talk back to you. All right. Peace out, Girl Scouts. See you in the next video.